I'm Priscilla Barrera with the Investing News Network, and here with me today is Christoph Frey, Independent Director and Technical Graphite Specialist at Givaron Resources. Christoph, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Priscilla. My pleasure. All right, so we're here at the Graphite and Anodes Conference. What is your main takeaway so far? Okay, uh, the conference uh, was very interesting up to now, and uh, there were a lot of different uh, speakers with different aspects. I think the main takeaway was uh, that uh, the graphite market is very dynamic, that uh, there will be a lot of increase of uh, graphite needed, especially for the lithium ion battery. And uh, we could see that uh, uh, for both the synthetic graphite and for the natural graphite, uh, there is uh, very significant growth rates. So this is very good to know that uh, for both of these types of graphite, uh, there will be a very good future outlook. All right. And looking back at 2018, has the graphite market performed as you expected? Why or why not? I think the graphite market uh, performed quite well. So I think for, for most graphite uh, people, it was a good year. Sometimes not really easy because... Uh, you know, still for natural graphite, uh, China is uh, the main uh, producer. And there were some uh, disruptions in China. So there were some uh, closures of plants and so on. So uh, uh, some of the material, there were not really shortages, but it was not uh, 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 that much uh, production available. So prices increased for certain grades, which basically is also a good development. And many of the investors that are listening to us today might be considering to jump, in, jump sorry, into the graphite market. What would be your best piece of advice for them? So I am uh, convinced that graphite will be uh, the main material for the anode of the lithium ion battery, which is a, a very big growth market. So I think it's a good idea to, to look into graphite uh, place. What you have to find is uh, the realistic uh, companies, more or less. There is some, you know, some restriction concerning uh, the quality of the material and so on, which, uh, which you just need to pass to be able then to supply in, in applications like these mine batteries. So I think, uh, yeah, you just have to, to read really carefully uh, what, what is uh, available as information on these different companies and then try to pick uh, the, <laughs> the promising ones, so to say. Right. And here at the conference, there's been a lot of talk about competing anode technologies, which might not include graphite. Um, you sort of mentioned that. What is your take on that? Will graphite then continue to be essential for batteries? Yes. Um, uh, so I attended uh, several battery uh, conferences, so not only the Benchmark uh, Minerals Conference, but also really dedicated battery uh, conferences. And I'm, I'm convinced that for the next five to ten years, there will be graphite as main anode material and almost without really uh, serious competition for, for the cases where it makes sense uh, uh, to, to use uh, graphite, which is the EV, which is more or less almost all of these uh, uh, lithium ion battery applications. And uh, there is new anode materials in the pipeline. But uh, like there is silicon, for example, which you cannot use as pure material. So it's just added to the graphite. So graphite still will be the main material. Uh, and some uh, silicon will be added to, uh, to uh, make uh, these anodes better. But it's currently maybe 3%. Maybe it's possible then to get to 10% or even a little bit more. But then still the remaining 90% is graphite. So uh, together with this uh, huge increase in demand, it's a, it's a perfect uh, growth uh, I think next generation, which is really disruptive, is far away. It's maybe 10 years away or even longer. And then this could be a solid state and so on, which is then really a new technology and uh, then has different uh, uh, characteristics. But even then, this will not penetrate the market completely. It will be a slow, slow transition from one technology to another because currently... So many companies uh, invest into this uh, uh, technology based on carbon and they invest billions and billions. And it's not possible then to change, you know, after two years of operation to a complete new uh, technology. So this is quite possible that for many, many years to come, graphite will be the main material for the anode. Great. And looking ahead, what do you expect for the market next year? Will graphite have a better year, more of the same, worse market? I think... What we saw already this year is uh, the, the market will grow. 
So there is uh, once again the lithium ion battery market, which which is just taking off. So there will be uh, quite nice growth rate from this, but also other applications uh, have some significant growth, not double digit, but still three percent, four percent. And also steel industry is doing quite well again. So usually you would think that uh, more graphite will be needed, which then usually also is good for for graphite producing companies. So I'm I'm quite optimistic. Right, and my last question for you today is about Kivaran Resources. What would you say was the most important news for the company this year? So for Kivaran Resources, I think the most important thing was uh, that uh, uh, the way of purification uh, as an alternative to the existing purification in China was further developed and uh, finally uh, this uh, well, as development was uh, successfully finished. So Kibern now has a technology uh, with which it's possible to produce very high pure material which can be used in the lithium ion battery for example and it's used in a, in a uh, let's say more green way so it's more sustainable without usage of uh, the toxic hydrofluoric acid which is currently standard in China and which is uh, also cost competitive. So I think this is really a, a very good opportunity now for Kibern to further develop uh, this, uh, this path. And I think this, you know, to, to develop or to finalize the development successfully, this I think was the key milestone for, for Kibern in 2018. All right, Christoph, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Priscilla.